Hi everyone, my name is Adam and today we're going to be doing a bit of a deep dive into the new features in ACDC Video Studio 4. So there's a ton of new features uh, and this is definitely the most comprehensive release in the history of Video Studio. So let's just get right into it. First up I'm going to talk about Chroma Key. So Chroma Key is pretty much more colloquially known as green screening. Uh, you can find this tool under Advanced Effects. If you simply click Remove Color and then drag that on to one of your media files, you can select the color dropper from the Properties panel that appears on the right to remove the selected color. You can also adjust tolerance and softness to subtly tweak the affected areas. Next up is LUTs. Color lookup tables are now supported within ACDC Video Studio 4. This means you can apply a wide variety of unique and sophisticated filters. To add them, click on the LUTs and drag it to your media. You can also find this tool under Advanced Effects. With that selected, I'm going to look on the Properties panel and then just select from the drop down here, the Turin LUT. With that selected, here's a before and after. So I'm getting this split screen effect from drawing the Turin affected layer in by cropping it. You can find the crop tool above the preview. It's this box right here. The next thing to cover is speed. You can adjust the length of any track by increasing or decreasing the speed. I'm going to increase the general speed of my horse clip here by adding a clip speed adjustment. To do this, navigate once again to advanced effects and drag and drop onto your media. Once applied, adjust the speed from within the properties panel just on the right hand side here. You'll notice there's a bunch of different numbers. Decreasing the speed will lengthen the clip and increasing the speed will naturally shorten the clip. This tool also gives you control over different time intervals and also frames. Let's uh, run this clip back. Snapshots are a brand new effect that allows you to create still images with your video media. Simply use the playhead to scrub to the desired location. We've got this image here, uh, it's too bright, it's too bright, there's too much sun, and there we go. So I can click the snapshot button, which is located beneath the preview, and this image will be added to your media tableau. Here's the image right here. This can be used to extend desired shots in unique ways. GIF creation is a brand new export function within Video Studio 4. This provides you the ability to quickly take a clip and produce it as a low file size movie. To do this, simply adjust your media to the desired length, generally pretty short, and click Produce and Share from the top right. Select GIF from the output format and frame size. By default, your GIF will loop forever. However, you can adjust this by clicking Detailed Settings, which is just down at the bottom right here. Mosaic provides a new function that allows you to selectively apply a blur effect to your subject. Here I have a clip that includes some people that I'd like to blur out. I can add a mosaic to my timeline. You can see it pop up right here and use the bounding box to adjust the size. I can also tweak the degree to increase the size of the blur. This is found within the properties panel to the right. So ACDC Video Studio 4 comes with a ton of new filters and overlays. In fact, it adds 46 new overlays and 13 new custom filters. Play around with them. I, there's no way I can show you them all here. However, this one is definitely my favorite. I've applied a white balance filter change and an old film grain overlay as a combination, and it gives me this kind of grainy old Boston sort of New York-y look to it.
New to ACDC, Video Studio 4 is Behaviors. Behaviors act as customizable entrance, exit, and interim effects. When you place a behavior on a media file, three dots will appear above your effect dropdown on your media track, which is located right here. You can apply one in behavior, one during behavior, and one out behavior as visible on the properties panel. Each behavior comes with a movement style and speed. You can't apply multitudes of the same behavior style, meaning I can't have, for example, two in behaviors. Finally, I'm most excited about custom animations, which allows you to create your own keyframes. A wide variety of animations have been added to the animation panel, but custom animation specifically allows you to use keyframes to say, zoom in later within the same clip. So here we've added a custom animation and we're going to extend the keyframe draw line so that it covers most of the clip. The beginning of the blue line is where the effect will start and by the end of it, it will be complete. You'll notice that at the end of the clip, when selected, the media will show a little red dot next to the blue draw line here. This means that whatever we're going to do to the end of the clip will inform the transition of the effect. So, with that being said, let's zoom the media to the right of the red dot. By enlarging it and moving it to sit at the very bottom right hand corner of the display. As I play back the media, you'll notice it zooms in halfway through and sits tightly in the right hand corner. This example is only like one of thousands of different customized animations that you can make. This is such a cool tool. I'm really excited about it. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, or subscribe for more unique tutorials and video content. Take care.